Hello guys and welcome to Danje TV. Kindly remember to subscribe, to like and to comment. On today's video, we are going to be looking at the top 10 richest women in Africa. At number 10, we have Elizabeth Bradley. She is the non-executive chair of the Wasco Investment Limited. She owns a stake at Tongat Hallet and Sasol, an integrated energy and chemical company. She is one of the richest women in Africa with an estimated net worth of $19.4 million. At number 9, we have Sharon Wapnik. She is one of the richest women in Africa with an estimated net worth of $25.4 million. Her father's wealth and influence made people often trace her wealth to her father, Alex Wapnik. She holds a business in real estate, corporate matters, and other business ventures. At number eight, we have Bridget Radebe. Bridget is one of the richest women in Africa whose business interest is in mining with an estimated net worth of $58.7 million. Bridget owns her own mining farm and she specializes in chrome, uranium, platinum, vanadium, and coal. She is from South Africa and was born on 26th February 1960. At number seven, we have Irene Chan Lee. She is a businesswoman who invests in telecommunication. She has an estimated net worth of 88 million and was born on 6th May 1960 in South Africa. Chan Lee was a former negotiator for the South African National Union of Mine Work for 13 years. Irene worked with MTN, Africa's largest telecommunication company. She set up her own telecommunication company called Smiles Communication after working with MTN. Her Smiles Telecommunication Company is said to be worth $58 million. At number six, we have Wendy Ackerman. She is estimated to have a net worth of $111.5 million. She is one of the richest women in Africa and the second richest woman in South Africa. Ackerman is the non-executive director of a retail company called Peak and Pay Holdings Limited. It is founded by her husband and a South African retail tycoon. Ackerman was born in Cape Town in South Africa and her business interest is mainly centered on retail. At number five, we have Wendy Applebaum. Wendy is the daughter of South African billionaire Sir Donald Gordon. She is one of the top 10 richest women in Africa and currently the richest woman in South Africa. She started her career in her father's real estate company as a director and currently she owns Demo Jason Wine Estate. Wendy won several accolades for her first vintage wine called Chenin Blanc for its unique taste. She is estimated to have a net worth of $152 million. At number four, we have Hajia Bola Shajaya. Hajia is one of the top 10 richest women in Africa and the second richest woman in Nigeria. She has an estimated net worth of $630 million. Hajia was born in an average income family. She didn't relent and now she is the CEO of Bolmas Group of Companies and the founder of Voyage Oil. She is a member of Nigerian focused business group called National Economic Partnership for African Development. At number three, we have Ngina Kinyata. She is popularly known as Mamangina and has an estimated net worth of $1 billion. 
She was born in Kenya on 24th June 1933. Kenyatta is the mother of Uhuru Kenyatta, the current president of Kenya. The former first lady of Kenya and the widow of the first president of Kenya. Currently, Mamangina is in charge of the family's company, which includes banking, farming, education, insurance, manufacturing, and real estate. At number two, we have Folorunso Alakija. Alakija is a Nigerian businesswoman who made her wealth from oil and gas, fashion printing industries, and real estate. She was born in Lagos, Nigeria on 15th July 1951. She started in the 1970s with Supreme Stitches, now known as Rose of Sharon House of Fashion. She is the second richest woman in Africa with an estimated net worth of 1 billion. She is the executive director of Farm for Oil, which is her family owned business. At number one, we have Isabel dos Santos. She is the richest woman in Africa with an estimated net worth of $2.2 billion. She is the daughter of the famous Angolan president, Jos Santos. Today, she owns several companies and businesses. Her first business venture was on the opening of her Miami Beach in 1997. She owns a stake in different companies, which includes Unitel South Africa, Zone Multimedia, Banco Espirito Santo, Banco Portuguese de Investimentos, and Energias de Portugal. Well, that is all that we have for you. See you in the next video and kindly remember to subscribe.